Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I missed you. Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup and we're going to be talking about Mujer Casos de la Vida Real. Because it's been going around que hay muchos casos que estaban bien escalofriantes. And now before I move forward with this video, I want to show you guys these items that I got from the brand Seiko. Starting with this coat. Oh my god, guys. Look at how pretty it looks. I love the pattern. I love to wear these coats with a skirt and a simple shirt. And I also really like that you can tie it. You can button it up. I love the fur that it has and the collar and I'm so excited because I can wear this in so many ways I feel like this coat gives me a really nice shape as you get made it look at that now next up is this other pink coat guys you see these coats with just a simple outfit they're going to look so pretty I really like that it looks like if it has two buttons but in reality it's just this line of buttons because low-key I get annoyed when it's too many buttons I really like the inside as well it's very comfortable it's like that material that's not too hot not too cold I love that all of Seagoo's clothes are so affordable and the quality bomb. Now this next top, it feels so fresh. I already know I'm going to be wearing this so much with some jeans and maybe with like a tight skirt and some boots. I feel like that would look super cute too. I love this kind of sleeve. I forgot what it's called, but I really like it. And guys, of course, I do have a discount for 30% off. The discount code is MERICA30 and you can use it on Seagoo.com. I'm going to be leaving a little sample here so you guys can see how you can save your coins. If you want any of these really cute pieces, make sure you go use my discount code. And now back to the video video if you don't know mujer casos de la vida real was a show in the 90s and early 2000s it was super popular i remember coming home from school eating my maruchan con chile y limon oh, ya se me antojo. while watching that show and i had no business watching that show at four years old getting traumada as fuck y era así casi como tipo la rosa de Guadalupe pero no, se me hace que a veces en la rosa de Guadalupe le echan crema a sus tacos está entretenido pero está como más, no sé it's like a little more corny now mujer, casos de la vida real it was definitely more realistic hasta un punto que unos casos me dejaron traumada AF The show was hosted by Silvia Pinal, which, fun fact, that is Alejandra Guzmán's mom. And they are a very famous and successful family. Y Silvia Pinal recibía las historias porque le mandaban cartas de casos de la vida real. Así como el nombre del show. So they say that everything was real. A ver, me voy a empezar a arreglar porque después estoy hablando toda madreada. I'm gonna go in with my primer que es de Glowish. Dude, this primer bomb AF. And well, some episodes were really disturbing to a point que las quitaron de la televisión. And the episode that we're going to be talking about today es un episodio que I always remember it in the back of my head. You know those things that you always remember? Like every other day, like those random memories from when you were a kid. Well, it's one of those. And I recently refreshed my memory by watching it. And I was like, ¿Qué pedo? It was so disturbing. No puedo creer que mis ojos miraron eso. Este episodio se llama Bruja y Nieto. It aired in 1999. Now this episode, I don't know if they took it off national television because I heard that they did to a lot of episodes, but I don't know about this one. But to my opinion, I think that's the creepiest one that I've seen. This episode takes place in Oaxaca. Donde vive una familia, está el esposo que se llama Jacinto, la esposa que se llama Elena. Tienen una hija como de cuatro años, como cuatro o cinco por ahí. Y la niña se llama Luz y también tienen a una bebé. 
I'm doing my eyebrows con este lápiz de Benefit. Tenían su casa. Vivían más o menos a little bit more on the poor side. Así que le ofrecieron un nuevo trabajo a Jacinto. Pero el trabajo estaba en Veracruz. ¿Pero qué vamos a hacer en Veracruz? Que no te estoy diciendo que me están ofreciendo una chamba. Jacinto really wanted to go get that new job because he wasn't happy with how they were living. Le contó del trabajo a su esposa Elena. And Elena was like, well, where would we stay in Veracruz? And Jacinto suggested staying at his grandma's house. His grandma's name is Amelia. Elena didn't want to go, but Jacinto gave her two choices. And he was like, either you come with me to go stay at my grandma's house in Veracruz, o te quedas aquí con las niñas. O vienes a Veracruz conmigo, o te quedas sola con las niñas. Tú dices. I know how very machista of him. Pinche viejo machista. Era como de esos viejos cabrones de antes. De o te vas conmigo o nada o te quedas. Y pues pobrecita. He gave her no choice. By the way, I'm cleaning up my eyebrows con este concealer que es de Huda Beauty. Este concealer está bien perrón, dude. It's full coverage as fuck. So they pack their stuff and they go to Veracruz to stay with Jacinto's grandma. Elena didn't really want to go. She mentioned que no quería estar ahí de arrimada. Y pues aparte, imagínate, being there like with your whole family, like llevarle toda la familia a la abuela, si sí ha de ser incómodo. Hasta la hija más grande, Luz, mencionó que no quería ir porque la abuela de su papá era rara. Voy a estar usando esta paleta para mi sombra. Me encanta la presentación de esta paleta. Like, look at how cute that is. I'm gonna be doing a very simple eyeshadow with just a little bit of gray on the sides. And I'm just gonna blend that with a shade that's similar to my skin color aquí adentro. And guys, this is when things start to get fucking weird. It goes to a scene where they walk in into the grandma's house y la abuela is performing a limpia. So the abuela is a fucking bruja. Deja libre ese espíritu. Hijito. Le está dando unos pinches ramazos a la persona. Just imagine que te vas a quedar en un lugar and you walk in and they're doing some witchcraft shit. I would be like, ¿en qué pedo me estoy metiendo? The grandma, she sees that they arrive and it looks like if she only acknowledges her nieto. Yo pienso que si va una familia de visita, you should greet all of them. But it seems as if she's just happy to see her nieto Jacinto. Voy a usar estas pestañas hoy que son de mi marca. de is in the style, me creo. Después pasan otra escena cuando están en la cocina. Está sentada la mamá y la hija. Y la hija no quiere comer because she is not comfortable. The grandma hears her. Tipo, la abuela, she's like, pues si no quieres estar aquí, te puedes ir. Keep in mind that this is the dad's grandma. So that would be her great grandma. But like, just imagine like a grandma, a great grandma, a tía, whatever it is. Si están mayor que tú y tú eres una niña, que te hablen así y ver que están haciendo brujería. That sounds like a child's worst nightmare. Oh my God, guys, por estar en el chisme, I didn't do my foundation. I went straight into concealer i'm gonna be using this frankie rose cosmetics foundation i fucking love this foundation the coverage it has beautiful i'm gonna brighten my chin and my under eye a little bit después la abuela de jacinto she's being a freaking pick me to be honest she keeps asking him like oh ya comiste así como de esas señoras que nomás están para servirle al hombre y le entran al machismo and i'm just like bruh doing that in front of his wife i feel like that's kind of like a diss quieres que te prepare algo de almorzar no abuela gracias pero tienes que comer algo 
Después la abuela invita a su nieto a comprar cosas para hacer de comer. And when they get there, they end up going to a store donde venden un chingo de ramas, which is basically for her brujería. Clavo y canela. ¿Y todo esto para qué, abuela? Porque quiero hacerte una limpia. ¿A mí? Llegan a la casa y le empieza a hacer su limpia. Basically throwing hints que alguien le está haciendo brujería. El nieto de pendejo, he's like, no wonder, it makes sense. Because he had lost the job that they had offered him in Veracruz. And his grandma ends up bullshitting him, telling him que Elena... Le está haciendo brujería. After she brainwashes him that Elena lo tiene embrujado, she says there is more to this limpia for him to be fully cleansed. But that's something she will have to work on her own. Pretty weird, huh? ¿Con esto ya? No, no. Yo tengo que hacer otros trabajos, pero eso los tengo que hacer yo sola. Basically saying that she doesn't need him to finish the limpia. Al día siguiente, Luz le cuenta a su mamá que no podía dormir and that she was very scared because she kept hearing screams. The mom was like, mija, yo creo estaba soñando. Pero Luz le dice, no, en serio, I heard a scream and it sounded like a gallina. Yo los invoco para que mi amor llegue hasta el alma de mi jacinto. Para que todo su amor sea solo para mí. Para que me ame eternamente. Elena says, you know what, this is enough. Así que le dice a Jacinto que ella se quiere salir de ahí. Y que no está bien que sus hijas estén creciendo y mirando a su abuela hacer todo eso de brujería. And Jacinto gets super, super defensive. Later it goes to a scene where someone knocks looking for Jacinto's grandma porque tienen una cita. The little girl Luz answers the door. Así que corre a avisarle a la abuela de su papá y abre la puerta en donde ella hace sus trabajos. And she walks in on the grandma acariciando a su papá. The grandma is getting very touchy and I mean it's a grandma con su nieto which is pretty normal, you know, que le hagan cariñitos. Pero la vieja reaccionó de una manera como súper defensiva. Le metió una regañada a la niña and she's like para la otra tocas antes de entrar y no sé qué. She starts telling Jacinto that the little girl even acts weird with her porque su mamá le mete cosas sobre ella en la cabeza y se está haciendo la víctima la pinche vieja lo sigue acariciando y le empieza a decir that Elena is not the one for him después la niña she starts acting weird así como si está escondiendo algo y su mamá le dice qué pasó porque estás actuando así la niña no quería decir nada hasta que por fin le dice Miré que mi abuela estaba acariciando a mi papá. Estaba acariciando a mi papá. Elena had a gut feeling. So she ran to the room en donde la vieja hace sus trabajos. And she walked in to something so crazy. Chiquito mío. Just imagine, imagine, like, vas a conocer a la abuela de tu novio o de tu esposo y que te salgan con eso. It sounds funny, but it's not funny. It's fucking disgusting and it's sick and she definitely needs help because this is not normal. Y la verdad, sí causa poquita risa porque como actúan y ustedes ya saben las novelas and everything all dramatic. But thinking about it, esto es un caso de la vida real. So that is so freaking sad and traumatizing. Nada nos va a separar. Ven, ven, chiquito. That clip of them having just looked so realistic. Like la vieja allí acostada con él. Me puse este labial, algo como bien natural, pero que se mire bonito. 
y me voy a poner estos hoops que son diferentes, but I can't find the pair, así que ni pedo. Nadie se va a dar cuenta. Nadie. Y si se dan cuenta, me vale madres. When Elena walks in on them, the husband just starts telling off Elena. Y le dice que él sabe que Elena le está haciendo brujería. When in reality, it's pretty obvious that it's the other way around. His grandma was doing brujería on him. Como que le hizo un pinche amarre. The grandma was so obsessed with her nieto que quería que se enamorara de ella one way or another. Y cuando Jacinto está corriendo a Elena, le dice que yo creo las niñas ni son de él. Creo que hasta le pega y la abuela de Jacinto, bien orgullosa, She's like, that's my man. It's just so crazy to me how all those limpias were actually la abuela embrujándolo para que se enamorara de ella. Elena ends up leaving to Oaxaca with her daughters and she ends up being a single mom, but thankfully she has the support of her family. Con estas historias tan locas, I wonder if Silvia Pinal ended up going to therapy because imagine taking all of this in. Imagine the ones that never aired. I remember que había una de un niño que se perdía en el swap meet. And my parents told me que eso pasó en el swap meet de la Alameda. I don't know if they were fucking with me, but after that, I was so scared of going to that swap meet. I think the mom was in a porter party y después salió y no estaba el niño. Ugh. Traumatizing as fuck, dude. And also, esa actriz deserves a fucking Oscar porque siempre salía de malvada en casos de la vida real and she would fucking kill it. If I would see her, like, in the street, I would be scared because que machín se mete en su papel. That was a really scary and triggering caso because it included brujería, incest, and domestic violence. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below. Follow me in all my social medias. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!